front of the bus pre-trip inspection. Before you open the hood, you check to make sure there's no fluid leaks or puddles under the bus. And we check in from top to bottom now. Amber clearance lights are clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. Amber warning lights are clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. Red warning lights is clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. School bus sign reflecting tape is clean, visible, good condition, and not torn. Our student crossing mirrors are clean with no brakes, securely mounted, properly adjusted. The brackets has no damage or loose fitting. Headlights, high and low beam. It's clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. Turn signal, it's clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. Four-way flasher, it's clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. Student crossing mirror, it's clean, securely mounted, properly adjusted, the bracket has no damage or loose fitting. Headlights, high and low beam, is clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. Turn signal, is clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. Four way flashes, is clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. Student crossing arm, is mounted securely to the frame has no damage or loose fittings, operating properly. Now we must take the latches off to open the hood. We're going to start on the right side of the bus so that we can see the serpentine belt and the components that go around the serpentine belt, such as the alternator as such. So here is our serpentine belt there. So we start on this side so we can see that. First thing we will be checking for is that hoses have no leaks or damage. Serpentine belt has less than three quarter inch of play at the center of the belt with no cracks or frays. My alternator is belt driven, is securely mounted, operates properly with no damage. A power steering pump down in there. Can't see it. Power steering pump is not belt driven, it's gear driven, securely mounted, operates properly, no damage, no leaks. My water pump is belt driven, securely mounted, operates properly, no damage, no leaks. This bus has no AC compressor. And we come over to the left side of the bus where we check everything else that needs to be checked under the hood. First, we're going to start with our fluids. Oil fluid is the yellow dipstick. Power steering fluid is in the reservoir there. And coolant is in the reservoir here. Now, during your test, you need to pull the dipsticks out and check them for the oil and the power steering. Oil level is operational range above the refill line on the dipstick. Power steering fluid is operational range above the refill line on the dipstick. Coolant is operational range above the refill line on the reservoir. Now we check our steering components. Steering box is securely mounted, not leaking. The hoses have no leaks. Pitman arm, drag link, and tie rods are not worn or cracked. The joints and sockets are not worn or loose. No missing castle nuts, bolts, or cotter keys. 
suspension. Leaf springs are not missing, shifted, cracked, or broken. Spring hanger is not missing, cracked, or broken with no damage, busting, and securely mounted to the frame. We check it twice because it's two of them. There's one back here. Spring hanger is not missing, cracked, or broken with no damage, busting, and securely mounted to the frame. U bolts are not broken or loose. Shock absorber secured with no leaks. Check our brakes. The brake line and hoses has no leaks and is secure. Brake pads have sufficient thickness. Brake caliper is secure, no loose or missing parts, and no leaks. Brake rotor is not cracked or damaged. Also see the brakes from this side of the tire as well. See a little view of the tire. Now we check the tire. A front tire has at least 432nd inch of tread, evenly worn, no tread separation, no recaps, no steel belt showing. The side walls has no brazen cuts or bubbles or steel belt showing. Wheel rim is not damaged, bent, or has no welding repairs. Lug nuts has no cracks or distortion, none missing, shows no signs of looseness, such as rust trails or shiny threads, and the bolt holes are not cracked or distorted. Hub and oil seals and axle seals are not leaking. A valve cap and stem is not missing or broken or damaged. I will check my tire pressure with my tire gauges on the valve stem right there, remove the cap and check the pressure and state that my tires are properly inflated. This completes the front of the bus pre-trip inspection.